was born. That was the night the Dade County Gang killed for the last time. They killed one of their own. Ruby lived with her daughter in the old roadhouse by the swamp. She forgot the past and started a legitimate business. One by one, the old gang members returned, and she found jobs for them at her drive-in theater. Read that poster without my glasses. One of them horror pictures. It's about a giant 50 foot woman. With a 25 foot bosom, I suppose. No, me. Don't start on me. Better be good. We miss a night of news. Come on, come on. I haven't got all night. Hey, give me a minute, man. You're holding up the damn line. <laughs> what line? Nobody wants to come here much anyway. <laughs> she does. I've seen her here every night. That ain't true. Here, Buck. Your turn. That'll be a buck. Who's in back? Nobody, just us. I think I'll take a look. Oh, you're hiding back here, huh? Little you little creep. You creep. Oh! Hey! Come on, come on! Right, give me another quarter and get out. Come on. <laughs>
Damn it. The damn door was locked. I couldn't get in. Just found the key. I told you to keep them off a bottle. Ruby, I've been doing a good job of it. Will you get on the speaker, damn it? Shut them up. Right. Listen, Jess. You get that reel on or get out. What are you doing in the back? Talk to me. Just get him out of here. Get rid of him. I'll do that. Pull him back to the house. Start the movie first. Okay. I'll see you at the house later. from the cops for 20 years. We'll handle it our way. But Ruby, Jess wouldn't just hang himself. What do you mean he wouldn't just hang himself? He was a drunk. Just get rid of him and don't talk to me about cops. But Ruby, he was part of the old gang. He was a dead shot. You know, it's, it's mighty funny, but... But I know Jess could take care of himself. Ruby, Ruby, why? Why after all these years? Oh, Vince, come on. We've seen it all, you and me. Don't fall apart now. Yeah, screw him, man. Huh? Ain't nobody gonna push us around. That's my Vince. Now look, do what I told you. Do it now. You know, Ruby always takes care of her boys. Okay, Ruby. Okay. Jess didn't kill himself. Something else did. Will you get out and do what I told you?
Hold calm till she finds Harry. Yeah, then she'll tear up Harry. Comes that little bitch again. Oh, lay off, Bonnie. She's okay. What'll it be, honey? Anything I can give you? Now, give him one for me, will you? You pay no attention to him. I don't pay no attention to jailbirds. What do you mean? Never you mind, jailbird. Here, honey, on the house. I'll see you in a bit. I got something special for you. Yeah? All right, but better hurry. I got someone waiting in the car. Yeah, I'll see you outside. What's happening, baby? Shove off. I, uh, I brought you Coke to go with that, honey. I like Dr. Pepper. Don't you remember nothing? So what you got that's so special for me? Isla June, you know, you said if... Were you coming? You dirty old man. Jess is dead. Couldn't take it, I guess. You want a drink, Jake? Oh, I forgot you don't drink anymore. Hug himself. Well, Vince will take care of it. As always. It's alive. I can feel it inside. Remember how they used to come up from the city, Jake? They came up to see Ruby Claire. Why did you? Why did you? Lila June! Lila June! Well, give it to me. Ruby ever found out that I took it? I said I'd only wear it around the house. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Here, do me, okay? and keep your hands to yourself. Uh, don't do that, you hear? Just a little kiss, Lila Jean. I said don't! Before Leo, but then I... Stop it, damn it! Don't do that! That's... Uh, uh, Off of me! Come on, you do it, Sam. Uh, come on, Lila Jean. Stop it! Stop it! Mm. I said don't, damn it! Fuck! Oh. Oh. Hope it hurts you real good, you... You dirty bastard! Oh. Jake, I could have made it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, you always used to like my singing, didn't you? You liked a lot of other things about me, too. Listen, Jake. Seven lived there last time. Good crowd tonight! We ought to clear a couple of bowls. Lots of action at the tables. Oh, Jake. I've, I've got to go on, Jake. They're calling for me. Nikki will be out there. Don't be angry, Jake. He's just a charming boy. I'm your girl, Jake. He's just a boy. He's just a boy. Jake Miller, you're jealous. Honey, it's cold down here. Your mother wants you to take care of yourself, so go up to your room. Get up, Ruby. Don't worry about Jake. I'll take care of him. Now, come on. Go to bed, Ruby. It's Nikki. Betsy's come back. Don't talk crazy, Ruby. She has his eyes, don't you think? What are you thinking, baby? If only she could talk. Come on, honey. It's cold down here, Ruby.
Leslie! Leslie! Come on, honey. Let's go home. Jake is waiting for you to take him for his walk. You wouldn't want Jake to miss his walk now. How would you, honey? No, I know you want to. Come on. First. And what over? The nylons you promised me. Oh, Lila June, I'll get them tomorrow. Then you'll get what you want tomorrow. Oh, come on, Lila June. You know I'm good for it. Yeah, you're good for nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honest, baby, I forgot your size. Yeah, I didn't forget your size. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah! You little son of a bitch! What are you doing coming up behind me like that? What do you think? Will you leave me alone? Look, I want to get out of here, and I want to go to the city. Well, I ain't leaving Ruby. Now we owe her giving us jobs after we got out of Star. Barney, I'm scared. First there's Jess, and now there's Louie. Now I want to get out of here while I'm still breathing. Look, we stuck with her then, and we are sticking with her now. Would you please take it easy? Nothing else is going to happen. Hey, how about some popcorn down here? Lady, some popcorn, will you? Go. I don't understand it, Ruby. Don't talk to me, Vince. Come on, let's get it over with. Jess, I can understand with the booze. But Louie, you know he had a daughter in L.A.? He was gonna go live with her? Ruby, the way he died. What's the difference? Dead is dead. Oh, you didn't see him. He was torn apart. Now, what would tear a man apart like that? Will you shut up, Vince? Just shut up and let's go. Why did you say Nikki? What are you talking about? Last night at the house, you said Nikki was coming back. Oh. I was drunk. I never seen you really drunk in 15 years. No, you were you were scared. The truth is, the kid scared me. Coming down the stairs in the middle of the night like that, sometimes she gives me the heebie-jeebies. Nah, she's OK. She's just a quiet kid. She's no kid. I've got to put her in that institution. I checked the place out. I know I'm doing the right thing, and you're not going to talk me out of it. No, Ruby, don't. I mean, I mean, she's like my own. No more. She's Nikki's kid, too, you know. You owe him that much. He loved me. He never knew her. Nikki died thinking that you had him set up, that you rubbed him out. Yeah, it's crazy, Ruby, I know, but I've been thinking, maybe you're right. Maybe Nikki's coming back to claim what's his. And Leslie is his, you know. It's me, damn you. It's me, me. He wants me. See the boat? No. I'll go look for it.
What? I just wanted to know where you were. I found the boat. Well, hurry up. Let's get this over with. This is good. <sighs> Funny place for Louie and Jess to end up. A meal for some hungry gator. Call me from town, I'd have picked you up. Listen, I came straight up after that letter of yours. I couldn't stay away. Now, you haven't changed a bit, Doc. Well, not since the plan. You haven't changed a bit. I gotta thank you for what you did. Hey, I was just doing my job. You would have gotten a parole with or without me. Well, I owe you one. Sit down, now. Sit down. Say, uh, I wanna thank you for coming here, too. Now, you know me pretty well, don't you, Doc? Sure. And you know that I don't scare easy. I know you don't. Some of the guys used to tell me up at the pen that, that you were able to talk to the spirits. The guys up there say a lot of things, Vince. Well, can you? Well, let's say that uh, they talk to me. Communicate might be a better word. So that means sometimes you can tell what a guy's thinking, huh? Well, we all have that ability to a degree. Just that... Some of us have trained ourselves to use it more, that's all. What's the matter, Dad? What's the matter? I don't know. Yeah, there is something here. It's trying to kill us, all of us. And you gotta stop it. I'd like some time just to walk around and get the feel of the place. Yeah, sure. I'll meet you at the ticket booth, huh? And then I'll take you up to the house. Good. break tonight? You got Lila June on your mind, don't you, kid? Yeah, she's not much trouble. All women are. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead.
I'll be right with you, Doc. Hey, you know, Doc, the way those guys died, Jess hanging by his neck in a projection booth, and Louis torn apart. You know, I've seen men die before, lots of them, but not like this. There's been violence here years ago. Am I right? I don't know. Maybe. And a woman with red hair. This concerns her. Yeah, that's right. That's Ruby. Say, how do you do that, Doc? I never told you anything about her in the letter. It's not easy to explain, Vince. Is Barney here? Yeah, he's taking care of the soft drink machine. Hmm. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him around all night. Shit. I can get it for nothing inside. And that's exactly what you're gonna get. Nothing. You do for me. And I can do for you. You can't even do for yourself. Ruby! Ruby! Is that you, Vince? Yeah. We got a visitor. This way, Doc. Ruby, I want you to meet Dr. Keller. Doc, this is Ruby Claire. I don't need a doctor. Well, I'm not a medical doctor. You shrink? No, hey, Ruby. No, he's a doctor of para... Parapsychology. The study of psychic phenomena. Don't let the big title throw you. Ah. You know, I'm a fan of yours. I have one of your records. Ha! <laughs> I only made one. Oh, I suppose you've seen my old movies, too. No, I haven't, but I'd like to. Well, stick around, Doc. We run one now and then. You have to look close to catch me in the early ones. Sit down, Doc. That's one of the reasons I bought the drive-in. Got it cheap when the club closed. Oh, I needed to make some dough and keep the boys busy. You want a drink, Doc? Fine. Got you. Straight. Aren't you supposed to be down checking the receipts? Oh, Ruby, I've already done that. Say, we got a packed house tonight. You've seen the drive-in? Yes. We're really packing them in with that horror bill. Blood and lots of it. Well, that's what they want nowadays. No, honey, take Jake back upstairs. Come on. All right, you stay then. How are you, Leslie? Vince told you about her. Yes. You can touch me. It's all right. <clears throat> Leslie, go to your room. It's all right. She was just curious. She doesn't speak. Not a word. Maybe you people at the hospital can help her. Pardon me? I've done everything that I know how to do. I'm sorry. I don't understand. What is this? Vince! Vince! Who is he? What are you doing to me? Oh, Ruby, just take it easy now. He's going to help. You told him about Nick, didn't you? No, I swear I never did. He told me nothing. Shut up! You don't scare me. None of you scare me. Come on, mother friend of Nikki. Nikki loved me. Yes, he did. Something has disturbed him. Vince. Something powerful. Very powerful. 
It's called anger. Pain. <sighs> Terrible pain. Moving now. Cars, people. The driving? Yes. The driving. Well, everything's okay over there. for you. But mom, but mama. House 34. Doc, you want to hear Ruby Claire sing? I'd like that very much. Okay. Yeah, Doc. Why wouldn't you hear her? She was great. Vince, let's show him how we did it. given to me by someone very special. Ugh, wait a minute. I loved him. He loved me. Look what he left me. What a beautiful child. spoken. She never even cried. Except once. When she was born. And then she stopped. Some terrible pain in birth. No, it was nothing like that. What are you asking me this for? I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I don't suppose Vince asked you to stay. Yes, if it's not inconvenient. Fix him up. Good night, Miss Claire.
know you're here. You've got to understand. It wasn't me. I didn't set you up. It was Jake. Oh, he was so jealous. He couldn't stand the idea of me having a baby. You got to understand about Jake and me. Nikki, is it you? I'm not afraid, Nikki. I love you. It's me. Something's changed, Jens. I don't know what it is. Maybe you can help me put my finger on it. Something that's upset the balance of things. Uh, we've been going on like this since 33. Well, before this lousy driving, we were all heading for the big time. Ruby was legit. The numbers in the gambling, that was all Jake's. And he went up to the pen for a year on a tax wrap. And that's when Nicky moved in. Everything went bad. What happened to Jake? Why is he in a wheelchair? Jake? He was nuts about Ruby. He wouldn't let anybody near her. Then he bought this place for her, put a bundle into it. You wouldn't know now, you look around. But we had the fanciest set up this side of Miami. Say, Doc, you should have seen her then. She was a knockout. There wasn't a dame around that could touch her. You loved her all this time, huh? Yeah. And Ruby? Sometimes she gets lonely. Tell me more about Leslie. 
Ah, uh, she's no trouble. She's a good kid. A little strange now and then. But... You know, Ruby's been good to her. Real good. Maybe it's because she's tired, huh? You know, running this drive-in and taking care of the old gang. <laughs> well, she's not gonna have to do that anymore. I'm the only one around. In what way have things changed for last night? Mm. Ruby wants to send her to the hospital. That's all. I don't agree with her. Leslie may be the key. Nah, you're wrong. She went hurt a fly. How's your right arm, Vince? That's fine. You know, all the power you can muster in your best right is nothing next to what you have up there in your unconscious mind. You're wrong about her, Doc. I hope so. Want some oranges? Well, that's tonight's box office. Give myself a shave. Get dressed. Okay. Hey, good morning, honey. Sit down, I'll fix you something to eat. It'll have to be scrambled eggs. Of course, that's all I know how to make. Really cook up a storm, I want to tell you. You know, this kind of weather reminds me of the old days. After the crowd would leave, it was nice and quiet. The gang would all get together and we'd sit down and play poker till wee hours in the morning. And then your dad, well, he'd jump up and knock out one of his specialties. Boy, he was a charmer, I want to tell you. What a handsome devil. You know, all the dames used to go wacko over him. Hmm. I can understand why Ruby fell in love with him. You know, every now and then when you give me one of those great big smiles, why you remind me of him. Yeah, he was quite a guy. Everybody liked him, but not Jake. They'd look at each other and you could see the daggers back and forth. You know why? Because Ruby would get right in the middle of him and stung him up. Say, what am I going on and on and on for? You know I got a big mouth. No, honey, that was yesterday. Yesterday is gone. Today is here. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, I don't know why I upset you like that. Oh, baby, I love you so much. Hmm.
baby. How I want you. State. Oh, come on, Doc. Don't give me those $10 words. Tell me, what the hell is going on around here? Vince, if I told you, you probably wouldn't believe it. I'm ready to believe anything. Now, Doc, three of the old gang were torn apart. By what? Who? Not her. She hasn't got it in her to hurt anyone. Ruby, you said you were going to send her away. I think her unconscious mind fought back by evoking the presence of her father. She was, Nikki. Everything about her was Nikki. Of course, the presence is real, with motives of his own. Leslie is a natural medium. What I'm afraid of now is that the presence may be powerful enough to act without the benefit of Leslie's mind. Well, I'm taking her away from here now. No. The only chance we've got of saving Leslie is to get to whatever painful memory it was that caused her to evoke the presence of her father in the first place. All right, Doc. What do we do? I don't know if it'll work. She's in kind of a trance-like state already. With your permission, I'd like to try hypnosis. All right. Leslie, can you hear me? you can. I want you to relax and listen to my voice. I want you to let me inside so we can become one. You're a beautiful person, Leslie. A lovely soul. What the hell are you doing? Ruby's there. Trust me. Go on now. It's all right. right here and I'm not going to leave you. I see a young girl and she loves flowers and a dog named Sandy and a birthday cake. Vince, make that cake for you. How many candles on that cake? Five. It does make you happy, doesn't it? You want to talk about it? It's all right. You can. It's all right. Please.
Happy birthday. Oh, oh that was good. Now let's go back some more. It's warm, and the arms hold you tight. It's dark, and it's safe, and it's warm. Now, I know you're frightened, Leslie. But think. Try to think what it was, Leslie. Think, Leslie. for me to leave, Doc. I've got some work over at the driver. Sure, Vince. I think things are going to be fine. Yeah. I probably should stay around a little while longer. I'd appreciate that a lot, Doc. Say, you were terrific upstairs. If you need me, you can reach me on the red phone. Don't startle me, dog. I need this. You have another one of those? You should be in bed. Come on, don't lecture. You're a kid. How do you think I got all these things? The rubies. The drive-in. I can imagine. <laughs> Barely 14, size 36. Made the chorus line of the scandals. Kresge became Claire in a wampus baby store with a movie contract. It all went up in smoke. I was hanging around with Jake Miller and his gang. I just happened to be there one night when this guy was killed. They tore up the contract. No place to go. It's a tough spot. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Doc, you're a babe in the woods. You know how the mob used their women to rub guys out? Take over the territory. That's how Jake Miller used me. I'd make love to them. When they were too busy to look over their shoulder, Jake and his mob. Hell, you know what I mean. You set up Nikki, too? I loved Nikki. I'd never do that to <laughs> He was new in the gang. So handsome, eager, too eager for Jake's liking. Jake found out? 
Jake said he wanted to do right by me. I was pregnant. He called Nikki and said it was all over between us. I believed him. Jake must have been very convincing. He was the best, if I believed him. It happened one night down by the swamp. They shot him, each of them one bullet. As he was dying, Nikki swore to get us. All of us. And he waited all these years until Leslie's mind opened up to him. And then Jake threatened to get rid of the kid, anything that reminded him of Nikki. What's the matter? It's here. It's all right. I know what he wants. It's very strong. <laughs> That's nice. I told her my uncle out in Hollywood can get her into the movies. Screen tests and everything. <laughs> well, good luck, kid. No, 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 it's on the house.
Nikki, I can prove it. It was never Jake. It was always you. You believe me now, don't you, Nikki? You have to believe me now. I did it for you, Nikki. Look what I did. They're Jake's. I cut them out with my scissors. Hello. Vince. Yep. Yeah. yeah, is everything all right? Vince, listen to me and get out of there now. Well, why? Everything's all right here. Damn it, Vince, you've got to believe me. Get out of there before it's too late. I'm busy, Doc. I'll see you later. It's here.
Look at her, Vince. It's what she wants. She's mine now. For more. 